Hey guys, this is Nigel with HTCPD.com and today I want to show you some of the new features in HTC Sense as you know the HTC Desire Z. Okay, let's get started. So you unlock the device and it's still very much the same version of HTC Sense that you've known and loved. If you've used it on the HTC Evo or on the HTC Incredible, you're gonna be familiar with it right away. You still got the same seven home screens, you've still got all of the usual HTC apps. Friend stream is still there. It's still very basic Android. It runs Froyo, but it, it runs the new version of Sets on top of it. So here's the first and most noticeable thing. Obviously, the Desire Z is a landscape phone. It's got a landscape keyboard, so when you flip it open, there is support for landscape mode on all the home screens. And you'll see once you once you slide it open, you'll see that the progress bar that shows you which home screen you're on has moved off of the launcher and now moved down to the bottom. So you can still keep track of where you are on your home screens. Also, you'll notice that the word phone is moved off from the launcher. So, I mean, it's just a couple of tweaks to make this more landscape friendly. And you's notice that HTC's also added landscape support for all of their apps. So if you were to head into the calendar, you'd see that the calendar supports landscape mode as well. And same thing for mail. Let's see what happened there. Okay. So it's very landscape friendly, obviously, when you have a keyboard that you're going to slide open all the time, the phone needs to support that. It's still going to be hit or miss on the regular, usual Android apps, but for all of the HTC app, Sense apps, they support landscape mode. So that's the first big change. Um, after that, you'll notice that while looking at the home screen, this button right here, that used to be an add to, to home screen button. Now it's a personalized button, so if you press it, you'll get a lot more options on how to personalize your phone. You'll see up here, it says you can add, you can change your scene, you can change your wallpaper, you can change the skin, um, you can add widgets and apps and shortcuts. This is what used to be there. And now you can even change, change ringtones, the notification sounds, you can even set a new alarm. So there's a lot more options up here. Um, let's take a look at scene. So this is basically just a, just a bunch of home screen layouts that you can choose from. Um, let's select one. And you can personalize and customize these all you'd like. So if there's so if you've got a particular set of shortcuts and apps that you'd like to use while you're at work, you can you can set that to a scene. If you've got a second scene, you can set that up with apps that you want to use when you're off from work and when you're at home. So it's a lot more customizable and a lot more user friendly this go around. Um, another big change to Sense is they've now moved the recent apps to the notification drawer. So let's go into the let's open up the web browser. Let's head home. Let's open up um, the calendar. And previously, if you want to get back to the web browser, you could hold the home button for a while, and your recently used apps would show up, and you could select it from there. But now, what you can also do is menu, bring down the notification bar, and here are your most recently used apps. It's a subtle change, but it's something that's very, very useful. You're going to find yourself using it very often.